name's Jasper. For the next three minutes, I'll talk you through the navigation of the Meerkat. It's an inventory scanning robot. Here you can see it's just come off its docking station. You sent it a file, and the map on the top left shows you that it's thinking about the first navigation point at the end of the aisle. It's thinking about where it needs to go, and there you go. You can see the blue dots pointing to the start of the first aisle. Yeah, you can see it navigates quite easily around pedestrians and uh, through busy areas. People just walk out of its way. It doesn't stop for this guy because he's not close enough, but if you got up close, it would stop instantly. And here you'll see it entering the thoroughfare. It does have a beeper on it at the moment, a warning beeper, just like the reach trucks have a warning beeper. You can see also as it turns to the left now that its mast is slightly extended, that silver area, and that means that it's it's at its traversing height. So we set the mast to a certain height and it's user user settable as it traverses to and from charging. It is aware that it's it's not in an aisle at the moment. Yeah you can see the reach trucks approaching and going around it and um, on the top left you'll see the blue zones as it has detected them but there's no reason to alter its course or to stop you can see its speed is slower than walking pace and these guys are quite easily overtaking it so it's lining up now for the first navigation point inside our drone scan software as it makes a turn we detect this aisle this is aisle fc on the left is even and on the right is odd and so we are coming down the aisle this time we would extend the mast but the mast is already at the correct height you can see that silver section of the mast um, and above it are the other sections that extend as the mast goes up to 12 meters the mast can go automatically all the way up to the top of these racks so now it's traversing down the aisle you can see on the map on the top left a faint blue pathway that is to force the robot up close to the racking so that we can get a better scan the smaller the, the barcodes the closer we need to go this is at four times speed and here it's coming back to the charging area this is also four times speed you can see how it navigates through the traffic quite easily it automatically detects when it's below a certain voltage and comes back to charge and that's normally an eight hour period there is a navigation point in front of the charger that it navigates to and then it lines up with that small V on the charger. And watch all the lights. As soon as it docks, it automatically turns off and goes to sleep and charges. Thanks for watching.